Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to implement some more weapons and in this case it will be a bow. So let's begin and I'm gonna go to the assets folder and inside of here I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call this bow and I'm going to import the assets and like always link is down in the description box. So I will select all of these and we need to make sure that we keep one thing in mind. This is a skeletal mesh bow and the other ones are static meshes. So let's drag this in and now we need to read information over here, this current asset. So this is a bow. So we do need a skeletal mesh. So let's import the skeletal mesh and now this is a static bow and we don't need a skeletal mesh for this. So let's press import again and for the arrow also this needs to be a static mesh. So import. So we have imported everything. Arrow and bow is a static mesh and also another bow is a skeletal mesh. So now let's set up the assets, textures. So now the assets are all set up. So I'm going to go to my inventory system folder pickups and I'm going to duplicate my pickup axe and I'm going to rename this to pick up bow and I'm going to go to the viewport select the static mesh component and change this to the static bow component as of right now we can see that this is really big let's scale this down and let's scale this down to like 0.2 whoa way too small I guess or is it so let's check this out to see how big it actually is well it is still a bit still a bit huge so let's make it even more smaller like 0.1 maybe let's see yeah this seems about right I guess well you you guys are the judges so what do you think is this too big too small um, do your adjusting to your likings and the next thing what I'm gonna do is go to the item data and I'm going to change the infos over here. So this is a bow. Biv. <laughs> Not biv. This is a bow. And this shoots arrows. This is a weapon. Let's leave the value at 20. This is a buildable. And building scale needs to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. The icon. We don't have an icon for this. So I'm going to do the empty icon. The static mesh is the bow static mesh skeletal mesh we have also a skeletal mesh so let's select a bow for the skeletal mesh and the item color let's leave this at red like I have for the weapons so let's compile and save this so this should be good for the pickup let's add a few of these to the world the next thing what I'm gonna do is now we should equip this weapon so um, so if we would try to equip this, it does equip, but we do not see the item because we don't have a um, component for this as an equipable. So yeah, also we get an error because this cannot be destroyed because it does not exist. So I'm going to go to the equipment items and inside of here, I'm going to duplicate my equipped axe and I'm going to rename this to equipped bow. So this is a static mesh actor type I'm gonna edit this blueprint and we're going to do something a bit different here because we need a skeletal uh, mesh so I'm going to add a component of a skeletal mesh and this skeletal mesh will be our bow and from the looks of it this is really huge so I'm going to scale this down like we did with the pickup so it was 0.1 like so so now the sizes are quite a bit better so what I'm gonna do else is I will replicate this component like so M make sure that this has no collision no physics and now we should adjust this in the location so I guess this should be like this just like the axe and I guess we should move this down to where we have a 
holding location. So now let's compile and save this and also let's set this to empty, the static mesh component. And in the third person character now we need to add this to the equipables. So we have this server equip item function event and inside of here we have this switch that goes through weapons and here is a switch for specific weapon types so add a pin and this is a bow pin and I'm just simply going to copy all of these nodes right here and set this to false because we are not going to smash with a bow and I'm gonna connect the bow to here spawn transform and this class needs to be the equip bow like so so now we can compile and save and let's test out and let's see what kind of location we have for this so now if we would select the bow and try to equip it it fits nicely in our arm but it stays in place and I guess I know maybe why so what I missed was in the third person character where we have this attached to component I have not connected the parent so we need to connect the parent to the mesh so when we do that our bow is fitting nicely into the arm and it is following the character like it is supposed to so there we go and now let's add some animation of a shooting arrow so I'm gonna go to the third person character folder where I have my female character so now I will duplicate my idle animation I'm gonna rename this to shoot arrow and let's see so let's pause this move this down go to the let's go to the tenth frame somewhere around tenth ish frame so what I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to rotate my upper body a bit like so press S let's move the head back in the location let's select the neck move this back press S again So this is what my animation will look like. It's a bit funny, but well, I will work with what I have. I'm not an animator. So let's save this. And the next thing what we should do is go to our third person character and implement this animation to work with the bow. So the first thing is we need again a new variable for the attacking and let's call this is shooting arrow like so. And now in the left mouse button click, I'm going to make this a bit bigger, move this back a bit. So now we need to check what type of weapon do we have. So I'm going to do a branch check over here where we are doing the attack. So before the attack, let's do a branch check. Let's move this up a bit and let's see what type of weapon do we have. So I'm going to go to the inventory variables and I'm going to select my equipped weapon so I'm gonna get this I'm going to break the result and I'm going to check if the name is equal to a bow so if the name is equal to the bow then we can do the um, animations for the bow but if it's not then we are going to do replicate attack so I'm gonna move this down and now what I'm gonna do is I need to set the 
animations to replicate on the server side. So what we need to do now is we need a couple of custom events. So I'm going to call the first one start bow anim. Start bow anim. And the other one needs to be server start bow anim. And the first one needs to be ran on server. And the second one needs to be multicast. And from the first one, we need to run the second one. We need to run the one on the server. So server start bow animation. And I'm going to drag in my skeletal mesh of the character. And I'm going to drag from it and set play, play animation. So we are going to play an animation. And this animation needs to be shoot arrow. And we don't need to loop this. We just need to run it once. So this is one for the shooting. And also we need one to uh, stop the shooting. So again, we need two custom events. And the first one is going to be stop bow anim. And the other one is going to be server stop bow anim. And again, the first one needs to be ran on server. And the second one needs to be multicast. And from the first one, we are running the server stop bow anim. And again, we are going to drag in our mesh. And in this case, we are going to. So let's see how it was. It was, I guess, set animation mode. Yes, there it is. So we need to set animation mode. And I have not enough space. So I might actually move these all back and move all of these up. So let's connect this. And for the animation mode, we need to use the use animation blueprint. So we're going back to the blueprint rather than using one specific animation. So now let's launch this whole thing. And so here we are checking if the bow is our equipped weapon. And if this is, then we need to start the bow animation. And now we need to stop it. And we are going to stop this on released key. So actually what else we could do is here where we are starting this bow animation, we could set our is shooting arrow to true. And again, I don't have enough space. So let's move this outwards. Move these over here and set this is shooting arrow to true. And here from this released, I might actually go upwards on this one. So I'm going to do a branch check to see if we are shooting an arrow. And if we are shooting an arrow, then we need to do this stop bow animation like so. And here we can set this is shooting arrow back to false like so. So I believe that should do the trick. So let's see what do we get. Let's press play. Let's select this character. And let's move in on our server character so that we would see is this animation actually uh, multicasting. So if we hold, yes, it works perfectly. So that's going to be it. So I will leave it to be like it is right now. And uh, in the next video, we are going to try to shoot the actual arrows and do the animation for the bow a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and see you guys in the next video.